Hi, I'm Scott Widmer with Round Road Products. This is my son, Sean. He's our engineer, takes care of all of our drawings and our specifications. Today we've got a unit here that we're going to unpack and we're going to see what's in each of the boxes. This uh, is just like the Round Road truck has delivered the unit and now we're ready to see what we need to do next. So first we take the straps off and then let's see what we got in here. All right, so in this box we've got the anchor plate and a bag of screws. So the anchor plate is the really the first uh, component that we need to put on the top of the um, unit. So we're going to put this back in the box along with the screws and the manufacturer's instructions. And we're going to get to this in just a bit. Next we've got the pizza peel that comes along uh, with each of the brick ovens. We'll set this aside. This needs to go straight to the homeowner because it's going to be for their use once the unit is complete. And finally, we got a big one, Sean. I'll need your help. That's probably 40 pounds. Let's cut this plastic away and see what we got inside of here. Just give me a cut right here. Straight up. Or straight down. Excellent. So in here, we've got individual mag board to cover up the um, fork pockets in the front and in the back. This goes in the back and this goes in the front. Here we've got the brick oven door. This weighs about 32 pounds of that 40 pounds that we just lifted up. It's mostly in the door. The door goes in super simple. Top hinge first. Set it down into the bottom hole and it's all set. Want to have this stored inside while the unit's being finished? That's probably not a bad idea. And let's see what's inside this big box. Okay, this is the chimney cap. Inside this box, we've also got uh, one inch and half inch screws that you're going to need for attaching each of the components we've just looked at. We've also got a brick oven lifestyle card for any after sale service or support that you need on how to use the brick oven or how to maintain it. We've got installation instructions, use and maintaining your Round Grove products brick oven, and your limited warranty. Chimney cap is a black chimney cap and it sits on top of the flue when we're all finished. Okay, so these are the covers that go uh, over the fork access plates here. These just set into place. We usually have about a half inch of clearance underneath and then we attach these with the one inch screws and it attaches right through the board and into the steel. All right. All right, now we're going to attach the flue adapter anchor plate on top of the smoke hood. Notice that it says attach flue adapter here. That's because this is where this anchor plate goes. It has four holes on the corners that we want to anchor down and here we could use the half inch screw since it's steel to steel or if there's not enough bite there we could use the one inch screw. I prefer the half inch. This unit is going to have a chimney extension attached on here and then the remaining flue will attach right into the wall anchor. 
So this is the chimney chase extension that we're going to be installing today. Uh, notice that on the skid underneath the chimney extension we have the cover plates that go over this access panel. We're going to grab this by the forks right through here but we're also having open access to the flue and that's going to attach right onto the anchor plate that we just installed. Uh, additionally we've got the pre-cut mag board here that is pre-cut to allow the flue to come up through and attach to our chimney. If this was just uh, an 88 inch tall unit we would have wall board cut pre-cut with the hole already cut in it that then you would set down on top of this and then screw down into the steel using a one inch screw. We don't have that today. Next we're going to show how to install the chimney extension onto this unit and bring your flues together. That'll be on the next video. Thanks very much. Delighted to have you as our client and we hope to do business with you more. I hope this video answers any questions you might have about what's included with your purchase as well as what to do when the unit arrives on site.